All right, so with sit to stand, what we're doing is we're building the back end muscles. This one's gonna be really important for you eventually as, as you're really, that was rude. Okay, touch, touch. So if they know it, they may not need any props, but usually they need a prop. And the prop is to keep them from moving their front feet. So what we can do is if they balance their front feet on a disc, we can ask them to actually feet. Feet. Yeah, you did this before. Come on. Feet. Good. Have their feet on a disc while they're sitting, and then lure them into a stand or do a hand touch into a stand. Stand. Touch. And so what we want them to do is raise up with their backside without moving their front end. And that's taking a lot of, it's almost like a, a, a squat, but it's a sort of modified squat. So really taking all the effort. Most dogs, when they go from a sit to a stand, Kai, sit, sit, stand, pull themselves forward with their front legs. And so what we're asking them to do is push themselves up with their back legs. And that's going to build the strength in their back end and their lower back. Sit. Okay, feet. Sit. Feet. Here, feet. Okay, sit. Sit. Okay. So with their feet on the disc, it's harder for them to pull themselves forward. See how she had to really push herself up? But if they won't do that, we can actually use the disc as a barrier. Sit. And we can hold it in front of them and then lure them forward. Stand. And it's a little bit harder that way, but it does work. Good girl. So we can use this as a barrier. Sit. Okay, sit. Just about anything. A box is a good barrier. Sit. Okay, stand. <laughs> Try again. That didn't work. Sit. Stand. Yeah, good. Good girl.